death wishes, racism, fans throwing trash. There's been a lot of nasty fan behavior in the world of Lobo basketball this season. Now, a sexual taunt directed at a Lobo star's sister has led to anger and fans threatening revenge. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at the pit with the story. Alex? Jessica, all's good on the court. The red hot nationally ranked Lobos just beat Utah State 67 to 58 here at the pit tonight. But off the court, it's a different story, and there's been a string of bad fan behavior lately. When it comes to the pit, taunting is just another part of the game. But there's a line, and student section leaders like Jenna Espinosa say someone crossed it big time. It should have never been brought up. It shows that all, like they have no class. At last week's game against UNLV, Run and Rebel fans held up signs saying, "Quote: I took Bearstow's sister's V card, A.K.A. her virginity." It's talking about Utah State player Stephanie Bearstow, sister of Lobo star Cameron Bearstow. After Bearstow dominated San Diego State. The UNLV student section's graphic designer tweeted out a picture with a message, quote, we all had sexual relations with that woman. I thought I was like disrespectful and unnecessary, like it was low blow. And not the only one this season. When Cohen Neal had an emergency appendectomy, San Diego State's student section wished for further infection for the freshman. Another UNLV fan tweeted out a picture of Jamal Fenton on a leash which many took as racist. But Lobo fans have behaved badly too. After a post-game scuffle at the pit on Saturday, fans pelted exiting San Diego State players with drinks. Students we spoke to tonight say things aren't getting any better. It's getting worse. It's progressively getting worse. And something has to happen or something's going to get hurt. Now this latest taunt is already causing a bit of a stir online. A Lobo fan posted the number and email for the UNM, uh, excuse me, UNLV fan who made the original picture telling other UNM fans to remember his face. Now that UNLV fan isn't backing down. Back to you. Okay, Alex, we asked the Mountain West Conference to respond to some of the bad fan behavior so far this season and asked them what's being done to curb it. They declined an interview. UNM didn't make athletic director Paul Krebs available either.